know what I'm saying? Frisco right across the bridge. That's where I handle a lot of shit at. Gotta go see the accountant today, though. Make sure the numbers right, boys, at the end of that year, man. I ain't finna let them take my shit. Look at here, man. I just wanna give y'all a pound this game right quick. Um, In my opinion, you know, opinion's like a booger. My opinion is Soldier Boy Hustle, MySpace. You gotta get the MySpace up. It crush you about 5,000, 50,000 friends a day. You know what I'm talking about? Um, YouTube about three times a week, you know what I'm talking about. Get your cyberspace up, get as many shows as you can, and document your company, man, and get a distribution deal. Right quick, distribution deal is when you walk into some place, you got two scenarios. Certain amount of CDs, tell them where you want the CDs at, what stores, you feel me? And uh, they're going to give you about three to seven dollars depending on who he is you know and how you talk you know what i'm saying you just get paid 90 days 60 days the other scenario is you take your cd in there on your artwork and a physical one cd and you get a percentage of the project and they the executive producer but any distributor gonna want three things three things remember this in my opinion they want you on the radio with a single in the markets that you that you um trying to sell your record or they want somebody from the markets on your album. That's why people be having all them features, you know. They always want Keek and my cousin Queen and Mess and JT. That was the phone right there. But anyway, so, and then the third thing they want is shows. Have you been performing in those markets? So remember, when you go to a distributor, man, have one of those things. A single on the radio in that market. Features on your album from that market or you done been doing shows you know what I'm saying cause they gonna put your shit in the store and if the shit don't move they gonna make you uh, pay for them to send it back to you or they might throw that shit away you feel me that's the business man and then the next time you come with another album try to come back to them and say man I, this shit hot I'm telling you it's gonna move they gonna be more hesitant about you and the number probably go down so the whole thing about when you distributor man independent from the mom and pops to the, to the independent to the regional, you know what I'm saying, to the major distributor, is you gotta promote your shit. You gotta be done planting seeds in the gardens all around. That's why I get on ground in them airplanes, man. You gotta have friends in different places so when your shit come out, you can post a MySpace bulletin or email and tell your homies it's coming out all in different markets. Try to get on college radio stations first, then to the major one, clear channel stations, and get your shit heard, man, and perform in them places. Then you go to the distributor, you buzzing. You feel me? You, you, you on your beat. You buzzing. You buzzing in the hood. You moving. You feel me? You wiggling. You wiggling. That's why we say wiggling in Oakland because you be wiggling. You be hustling. So then you can go and say, man, I got a following. People want to hear my shit. They want my shit, man. You feel me? So that's the magic right there. Or you can go sign all your motherfucking rights away to a damn major company, major label, and hopefully you hit out the damn box like 50 did. And Eminem or Nelly. First ball, first swing, home run, you have a hit record, then you can go and renegotiate, but when you sign the major deals, if you don't hit out the bat, man, it's rough on you, man. I'm telling you, I'm lying to you, so that's why we independent in the Bay, man. Independent grind, been on our black own black companies since Too Short, since E-40, since JT the bigger figure, Peace to Figaro, Messy Mar, he eating, man. That's I'm proud of that nigga, man. My little nigga eating off his end of Scalene, eating, man. You feel me? So... That's the grind right there, the independent grind. Y'all can go to rapbay.com, you feel me? Um, what else? Go to City Hall Records, you feel me? Um, what's the other one? Um, Os Osa Media, O-S-O -S Media, if I'm not mistaken. Um, they do a lot of CD replication out here. Um, make sure y'all check out my homie Dirty Mackin for all them graphics, you know what I'm saying? Um, who the fuck? Oh yeah, go to mandatorybusiness.com. Check out Fig Magazine, man. He put you up in there. Make sure y'all check out Black and Brown. Make sure y'all check out mastermind.com. That's my homie Kev Epps. You feel me? He made the movie Straight Out of Hunters Point. Right now we got Straight Out of Hunters Point, Rap Dreams, and we got the Black Rock and the Real Richmond. You feel me? Piece of Southside Richmond. Benny Owens, Royal Highness, Man of Boys, uh, um, Trev, the whole, uh, uh, what's them boys? <laughs> What's the name of them boys? Uh, 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 man, Loose Cannons. What's up, Loose Cannons? Over there in Richmond. Yeah, but um, that's what it is, man. We pushing out here in the Bay, man. I'm finna get up out of here, man. Go get on this bar. Go to, go across this bridge, man. Go to the Scoda Field, mo. Nigga, y'all be easy. Wish mama 
could see Obama. She used to sit me down and talk about karma. I think the world gon' finally change. I can feel it, it's gon' change. It's gon' get better. Hey, it's about to get better. Hey, yo, what's cracking? It's the West Coast Country Boy. I'm back, man. I'm with the one and only Gold Toe CEO, president of Thiers Latin. This is my big brother, man. He taught me a lot about this game, man, about the paperwork. They don't give him enough due, man, this community, man. He do a lot of things for the Latino community, for the black community. He's been doing it for 10, 15 years. I'm going to let him talk for a minute, man, and just tell, tell the world, you know what I'm saying, his essence of this whole music game. What's happening, Toes? What's up, man? This is your boy, Gold Toes. I'm a CEO of Black and Brown Entertainment, Thiz Latin. You know what I'm saying? Out here representing my boy, uh, Fleetwood, man. It's been a long road. You know, he wrote the book, Hip Hop Try to Kill Me. It's in the Source magazine. Uh, you know, I met Fleetwood about a year ago, and, uh, you know, through our friendship, you know, he's uh, he showed me a lot, too, not only through the music game, but as far as living life and, uh, you know, being responsible and being positive out here on these streets, man. And it's hard, you know, this music game, is it's not easy, you know. Uh, you got to hang around with people that's successful because success breeds success, you know what I'm saying? To everybody that's watching this, you know, if you, if you wake up, I wake up to music every day, so you got to want this. You got you to gotta really want to uh, strive to get it to the next level. I started my company 12 years ago with Black and Brown Entertainment with San Quinn, Messi Moore, JT the Bigger Figure, some of the classic Bay Area rappers out here in the Bay Area. And, it, and it's been a pleasure, you know, growing up in the Bay Area in a diverse society, man, where I got white, black, Filipino, Chinese rappers all around me. Right now, that's I want to give a big shout out to my Asian rappers coming up out of Frisco, man, because we got a lot of Asians with talent coming out, man. You know what I'm saying? And uh, that's, a new, that's a new voice to be heard. Before we had the blacks, then now we had the Latins and the Browns. Now we got the Asians coming and the Pacific Islanders coming and really putting it down too, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, you know, right now the movement is this, man, trying to show rappers and hip-hop in the Bay Area to be more uh, conscious of what they talk about and what these young kids is listening to because, you know, we got to try to uh, be accountable for what we talk about on, the, on these albums. And I'm not saying just change your lyrics all the way around immediately, but, you know, it's, it's you know, slowly but surely try to uh, uh, nurture, you know, our young children into what's right and, and what we're putting in their mind and what's in their head, you know what I'm saying? Because really, when we speak out of, we, you know, the tongue is one of the most powerful muscles muscles in your body and what comes out of that tongue you know it, it, it affects a lot of people so you know as for myself you know a lot of the uh, you know a lot of uh, a lot of negative came out of my rap out of my mouth and I know it, it I know my community felt it and 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 people went to jail behind it people died behind it and now it's my responsibility to uplift people get them into college behind it you know get them in some jobs behind it you know what I'm saying so you know that's where I'm at in my life right now uh and you know and I'm not going to say it's going to just be overnight but slowly but surely and as as the more I speak on it uh the more I'm going to be about it you know what I'm saying I I'm human just like everybody else I wake up and I'm mad some days I wake up and I feel good some days Tonight, I'm feeling kind of good right now. Uh, you know, we, we threw this little party right here. My boy Fleetwood, you know, it's one of his first parties. It wasn't, it's not the best night, but it's going to be a good night because we're together. And we, and we, and we, and we and as a friend, I, I, I'm like this. If we rolling together, we're going to die together. We're going we're gonna to take falls together. But we're going to make up for this night and make it a successful time next time you see us. You know, right now. Uh, you know, we just had a little bit of setbacks right now. But the next time you see us talking on this microphone, we're going to have this whole block field. I guarantee it. Oh, my name ain't Gold Toes. I'll see y'all later, man. Hey, I told y'all the blackest part of Brown, man. That's my boy right there, man. It goes down, man. I ain't Rihanna or Chris Brown, so watch your mouth. Look at here. I'm going to tell you like this, man. This man right here taught me, man, how to get a distribution deal. You know what I'm talking about? Three albums, iTunes, man, in two weeks, man. West Coast Country Boy, produced by the hottest producer on the West Coast in the nation, Wapolino Productions. Look out for him, man. He on the cover. That's the pretty boy on the cover, not me. You know what I'm talking about? So pick up that West Coast Country Boy. Go get the book, Hip Hop Tried to Kill Me. Support Thea's Latin. Support Rhyme On Clap. Man, support everything out the bay. Alpha and Omega, the whole Thea's Latin camp, the whole You Ain't Getting My Publishing. And make sure you support R-E-S-A, man. That's my new discovery, man. So... Man, we basically here to help rebuild what we help destroy, man, our community, man. You know what I'm saying? We the uncles in this niece and nephew game, man. It's very important, man, that I take, I take this knowledge I got and put it on the seeds. A lady told me in Harlem, New York, she said, learn how to be a good farmer. Get your dirt right, put your seeds down, put some water on it, come back and get your crops.